Hello everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. So let's talk about today's problem. Our problem name is maximum sum path in two arrays, right? So let's read the question first. Our question said we are given two sorted array of distinct integer array one and array two, right? Each element may have some elements in common with the other arrays, right? So we just have to find the maximum path sum from the beginning of two, any array to the end of any array, right? Please mark this point any array to the any array, right? So you just have to switch from one array to another array only at its common elements, right? So here the condition when we have to switch using the common element. So the note point will be given to us is when we switch from one array to another array now. So we know we need to consider the common elements only once in the result of it, right? We do not have to add two times. We just have to add the common elements one time. That's it, right? So this is my first input. So here output is 35 and so on. The given output will be given to us, right? Now let's see how we can solve the problem, right? So see, uh, this is my first array, right? Array one and this is my array two, right? So in this case, quotient said, I want output 35, right? With the help of these two array, I want maximum sum, right? I want maximum sum. You have to take care of that. Two arrays are sorted, right? So you just you just have to take the array as it is, right? So that my answer will be maximum, right? And the second condition is if you want to switch to another array, so the common elements will be the things, common element will be that particular part so that we can switch to another array, common elements, right? Okay. Third thing, if two things are common while switching, that particular element will be considered one time, right? Common element will be add once in the result, right? That's it, right? Now let's see how we can solve the problem. Okay. Now, if you see here, let's change the color. So if you see here, this is my first array. This is my second array. So it's sorted, right? So what I'm doing is to solve this problem, I just make two variables, sum one, sum two, right? In sum one, we just add the elements which occur in my array one. And in sum two, we add the elements which occur in array two, right? Now see how we can solve this. So see, if I am using here now, this is the element which is common, right? Which occur one time, right? So here we have two elements here. We have two elements here. Now in this case, this is the first thing where you can change the array, right? We can change the array, but depending upon your need. But my need is maximum sum I want. If you want to change, you can, but this is the point where you can, right? Now, if I see here before seven in the array one, what's your sum? Two plus three, right? In this case, what's my sum? One plus six. Now, when you choose this now, right? Your sum one will be five and sum two will be six. You want a maximum sum. You have to choose either choose max sum one, either choose sum two, right? So in this case, what I'm choosing is I'm adding one plus five, right? I am taking these two elements because it gave me six, but the array one element two plus three give me five, right? So in this case, I choose some one, right? So I take here answer variable where I'm adding six, one plus six, right? Now when it's common, right? Okay. So we just have to add one time in my answer. So that's why I just add one time, right? After that, so these are not common, right? These are not common. So after that, when you have, when you reach to the common element, right? Now again, whatever your sum one and sum two will be, you just add maximum into your answer, right? Now it's time to make zero, right? Because we just have to make another sum one, sum two so that I can compare, right? Now if you see here, your array one element will be give you zero plus 10 plus 12, right? This will give you eight, right? In this case, this is 22. This is eight. What is maximum? Maximum is 22, right? So what I'm doing is adding 22 into it. Now, if you take the sum 6 plus 7, 13 plus 22, that will be 35. That's the output, right? That's the thing which you have to do it, right? So let's see the same intuition to solve example 2. In example 2, right? So if you see here, my first pointer will be here. For example, I, this is my J and I make here sum 1, right? And I make sum 2 and here I make answer variable, right? Okay. Previously answer is zero. Let's add before that I am C. Okay. This is common. So if you see here, the common is this, right? This is the common, right? Now someone contain 
1 plus 2, right? Let's add here. Now, what is your sum 2? It's 0, right? Before 3, nothing is there, right? So, what is the maximum out of these two? 3, right? Let's add 3. After that, after adding 3, right, it means you are adding this, this, and right now you are here. Now, when you reach to this common, uh, you just have to add common one time, right? So, let's add common one time. After adding common one time, what I am doing is, I simply make my sum 1 0, sum 2 0, right? Now, if you see here, your j will be moved to here, your i will be moved out of bound, right? It's time to stop in that case. Now, think about that. When you have two arrays, right? We just have to sort the two array, right? Now, we are not able to compare it. We just have to add after my comparison while loop, right? We just have to run after that for the i while loop and the jl while loop. Okay, so using i while loop, what we have to do is, I'm asking, hey, anything left in the right of it? They said no. So answer, someone will be zero. Here I'm asking for the j wool, j while loop. Something is there or not? They said I am pointing to 4. In that case, whatever the value you have, just add that. This will give me 9 and this will give me 0, right? You just have to compare these two values, which is 9, uh, greatest, 9. Let's add 9. So if you sum this, your answer will be 15, right? That's why output is 15, right? I hope you understand now. Okay, so in this case, what the element I take? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, right? These are the elements which we are taking, right? This is the common part before we take this part and after we take this part that's it right okay now let's see for this case when we have couple of common elements in that case what we have to do right so as i said my i will be this and j will be this right okay okay so in this case this is the first common point right before that what is my sum one let me write here sum one will be one what is sum two before that it's zero right now my answer will be zero initially right I just add that particular thing which is greatest than both. So it will be 1. Let's add 1. Right, right now, both are common. Nah? Just add 2 into it. And at the same time, your i will be moved to this case and j will be moved to this case, right? In that particular case, both are common. Yes, both are common. Just add 3 into it, right? Okay. After that, we go one step ahead in i and j. Both are common again, right? So in that case, again, we just have to add one time, right? After that, we are here, I will be here and J will be here, right? Now it's not common. Now it's not common, right? Now after that, in this case, my answer will be this and let's make your sum 0 and sum 2 0, both 0. Now if you see in the right side of it, we do not have common, right? So here we have 5, let's write here 5 and here we have 10 plus 15. So this is 5, this is 25. We just have to compare which is greatest. So 25 is greater. Let's add 25 into it. What's my answer? It's 34. That's it. That's it. I hope you now understand what we have to do is, right? Okay. So let's do the code part now, right? Now see very carefully uh, as I said in the code part, what we have to do is, let's first, we should have to take the two pointers, right? The first thing is, I just make, calculate the size of first vector, right? And size of second vector, right? That's it we do. Okay. Now we take the two pointers. The first will be i equal to 0 and second will be j equal to 0, right? And as I said, we just have to take the two variables, sum1 and sum2, right? Okay. Now we have to take the variable which is answer, where we have to store my actual maximum sum, right? Okay. Now we have two variables. We just have to do the while loop, right? i less than n1 and j less than n2. That's what we have to do. Now we have three cases. Either of both, either array 1 ka i will be greater, either array 2 ka j will be greater, either both are equal, right? So, what I am doing is, I simply compare that ki array 1 and array 2, which is smallest, right? So, if you see in this case, okay, let's do the dry run for this case. So, initially my i will be here and j will be here, right? Okay, now in this case, I am asking, hey, please, can you please compare between these two elements? So let's compare that, right? And I am seeing which is smallest. Array 1 is smallest, right? So in sum 1, we just have to add array 1 k elements, right? So I am adding this, right? So let's do that first. So here I am asking, hey, array and array 1 is smallest. They said yes, right? In that case, sum 1 plus equals to array 1 of i. And at the same time, we just have to increment my i, right? So that's what we have to do. We just add 1 and increment my i to this case, right? Okay. 
after that again i check the while loop right and i am asking hey are you array to greater they said no so in this case the second case is either array 1 is greater than array 2 of j right that's the case in that case we just have to add that particular element in sum to right okay so that's the case of it and increment my j now in the third case it's equal right it's equal it's time to make your maximum of sum one or sum two in variable answer right so here i make the sum variable right or uh, sorry answer variable and take the sum of maximum out of those right so here we have zero i just add one into it right now after that i know that ki there are couple of elements which is common right that's why we just have to add here while loop right okay now what i am doing is i take the while loop and using j i less than n1 and j less than n2 and that particular while loop will run that much time when we have the common elements right so let's compare the common elements if it's common right you have to check that particular part and go into the while loop till it's common right okay now in that case we know that we just have to add one times so what i am doing is i am directly add that particular element into my answer vector answer a variable right so either add array 1 of i or array 2 of j both are equal now at the same time we just have to increment both right okay and this while loop will works right so we are here we are here what's a common 2 is a common right let's add 2 into it and j will be here and j will be here right after that your while loop will again run 3 will be common let's add 3 here and j will be move one step ahead right again it's common right let's add 3 into it and your j will be here and i will be here right it's a stopping case right now you have add all the elements till now right so until this you have worked right you have to work i will be here and j will be here now they come back out of the while loop before that what i said to you you have to update your sum1 and sum2 to zero so that we can add the new element into it right okay after that again go to the while loop and i'm asking hey are you both are there now they said yes okay which is smallest so this is zero now which is smallest five let's add into five in sum1 after that i will be reached to this right okay after that so we just have to increment my i and we see that it's out of bound right your sum1 will be this and sum2 will be zero and we are not compare right now right so we just have to go for the extra while loop right so here i just make while now i am not able to compare it can you please tell me any elements left or not right so in with this case we just add that particular into it and at the end same thing will for the j part right okay so now if you see in this case my sum1 will be this and nothing is there in the right side of it but in sum2 we add these two elements and this will give me 25 this will give me 5 now i just have to compare which you have to take right because we are not able to switch now that's why after common we are not able to switch so we just have to compare which is greatest so 25 is greatest let's add 25 into it right so that's why my output is 34 right at the end what we have to do is we just have to return okay answer plus max of either sum one add either sum two add that's it what we have to do let's check it's working fine or not yeah it's correct let's submit and check it's working for all test case or not yeah it's correct right now let's check about time complexity if you see in the while loop this while loop we just traverse each element one time right okay either we increment my i either j right in this while loop again the rest of the elements we just have to traverse right so the time complexity simply is order of right order of n1 plus n2 right where n1 is the size of your first array and n2 will be the size of the second array that's it right and the space we are not using any extra space right so complex space complexity will be order of 1 right so i hope you understand the solution and intuition thank you so much